Schulz. Good morning and welcome back, back, back to the Equalities and Human Rights Committee this morning. Um, our second panel for this morning is um, a very interesting and exciting panel that the committee has been working with over the last few weeks to highlight International Human Rights Day, which is this Saturday, the 10th of December. And the committee wanted to mark this occasion by speaking to the, some of the people who matter in all of this process, the young people of Scotland. So what we have along with us today is two groups of pupils from two primary schools, Thornley Primary School in Wishaw, who are accompanied with their teacher, and um, Westfield Primary School, um, who are accompanied by their teacher as well. So we've got Deborah Catland and uh, Liz Wells, who are the teachers. But our focus today are the kids. We're really, really pleased for you to come along, and we were really pleased for some of the committee to come to your school and talk to you about what, what mattered to you. And as you can see behind me, we've brought along some of your ideas. The, we did the red, amber, green. So some of the things that you thought we were doing well went on the green cards. Some of the things you thought we could do better went on the yellow cards. And things that we really needed to make a difference on went on the red cards. And we've got those behind us. We were really pleased to, to have these with us today. But to hear your views. Um, and I have to say, I was very, very inspired for the work of this committee going forward to hear what you've, you've got to say. So we're really keen to have you along at committee this morning and delighted that you feel able to come and, and sit in committee and give us your views. So um, we're very keen to hear from you and what you think the Scottish Parliament should be doing to ensure that we maintain your rights and the things that really matter to you. So the things that you like but the things that you think we should fix as well. So we're really keen to hear from you. So if you want to come in, just do the same as in class, stick your hand up and let me know and tell me your name um, and you can come in and, and give me your, your thoughts and your feelings. So who's first? Ooh, oh. <laughs> and your name, young man? My name is Kai. Nice to meet you, Kai. Well, I think that the rights of children and everyone in the world, that's very important because if everyone was doing what they would like, it wouldn't end very well because, like, we need to like work on the wars because there's a lot. Because like in Syria, their houses are getting blown up while they're inside them. So I think that's really important. And the fuel, because we need to like drive cars that don't use fuel, because it's polluting the world a lot. Two very very good points, Kai. One about you know peace for children around the world, and the other one about the environment that we live in and how important that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anybody else? <laughs> Yes? Uh, well, my name's Hannah, and I think we could maybe like help with gender equality, especially across schools, because in a lot of places, as a girl, I like to play many sports and swimming and football, and maybe in my school or other schools, I can get treated differently because I want to play a sport that is mainly played by boys or known to be played by boys so I can be treated differently because of my gender. Yeah, and I know Mo Mother Wells got a good women's team, haven't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you want to come in, yes, Alex? Uh, I, hello, everyone. Um, thank, thank you so much for coming to see us and, and thanks also for your amazing presentations earlier. They were really inspiring. <clears throat> Some of you told me that this is your first time in this building, and I just wondered um, if you knew that there was something about our country that you wanted to change, would you guys know about how, how to go about doing that? Who would you want to speak to, and how does, how, what have you learned about how our democracy works and how you can influence it and, and ask for a change? Yes. Kai again. Yeah, well... I, f I like the fact that in the world, the, not everybody's getting treated well, but everybody's trying to fix it, like the NSPs and that. So I like the fact that they're helping. And I would, if I could change one thing about the world, it would be no wars. That's a really, really noble thing to want to change. Um, but also, you, you guys are the future. I mean, we're sat here just now, but in 15, 20 years, this could be you. And in fact, I think it may well be you in some cases. Um, so it, it's important to know how this works, this place works, and how you, your voice is as important as everybody else's. Yeah. Amanda? Yes? <laughs> um, 
I would like to talk about gender stereotyping because it's all over media, newspapers, and I don't. I don't like the fact that people gender stereotype because if, like, stereotypically, a boy's colour is blue and green, and I love the colour blue and green, and um, I don't think it's, like, a lot of people do a gender stereotyping because they think, oh, um, you're a girl, so you're weak and uh, you don't care, like, and I'm a boy and I'm strong, and I don't think that that's right. Excellent point, Annie. Just what, what Hannah was saying about playing football. I played football when, when I was wee as well. Um, I like to play football and I like to play tennis and I was probably better than the boys at, at both of them. <laughs> um, but I was sort of a called a tomboy, um, which that didn't really bother me because I, I enjoyed playing the foot, football and things like that. But, but you're right, it's, we don't make it that we can play together. Mm -hmm. It's like girls play and one team and boys playing the other. Um, and the same with, with gender stereotyping as well, Amanda. It's like, I don't like wearing dresses and high heels. So um, so some people sort of look and go, you're maybe not a girl as much, but I am a girl because that's, that's who I am. And it doesn't matter whether I want to look glamorous and I don't want to be a princess and I want to be a football player. Shouldn't make any difference to, to who I am and how people treat me. Oh, I just like to say, like, a lot of people don't notice when they're doing these things, and if we don't notice these things, then we're not going to be able to, like, change them. So I think, like, in many, like, schools, we should maybe do a, another lesson on this or something to let people know they're doing the, things like this, because before we learned about this in class, if I said, oh, um, I don't want to play football, I, like being a girly girl, I wouldn't know what I mean by that. And it just didn't mean anything. But then if you look at it now, once we've learned at it, they kind of things could still offend us in a way. So. Excellent point, Jeremy. Do you think it's easy to explain that to your mum or your dad or your granny or other older people? Because sometimes uh, older people take longer to understand these things because we're a bit slow. Um, how do you explain that? Okay, just maybe it's me. Um, how do you explain that to your mum or your dad or your granny? Well, or how would you? Well, I would just probably tell them, like, because <laughs> I'd just, like, probably, like, sit down and just say, you know, I don't want to be a, a girly girl as such, or I don't want to dress in dresses all the time, or I, I don't want to play football or something mm. like that. Mm. I would suppose I would just tell them and explain it to them and they'd probably understand. Do you think we listen? Yeah. 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 Good. Yeah. <coughs> the other two boys have not contributed yet. Have you, do you want to have, have something to say? Do you want to tell us your name? I'm Ryan. I'm Ryan. Ryan. And uh, it's about opinions. It's like the cardboard thing. It's not about, it's not just about your opinion, it's about others' opinions. So if, you say it doesn't ma your opinion doesn't matter because it's already like happened. Then it can still your opinion can go, your opinion can still exist. It's not just faded away. Yeah, so a bit of freedom of speech. Yeah, hopefully we're giving you that opportunity here this morning to come to Parliament and have your freedom of speech, and we're we're listening. We're listening. And what about you, young man? I'm Toby. Uh, I, I, when we were doing the cards, I only did green. Green was for stuff that are good about the parliament. Yellow was for stuff that were good, like in the middle. And red was for stuff that you, we think you need to change. I only did green because I think the parliament's uh, just really good how it is. What kind of things do you think, Toby, that we do really well? I like the right, and that's about it. Excellent. Super. Any other questions from our Willie? Oh. Thank you very much, and hello every day again. And it was lovely to meet you today and at, at the school when I came to see you. If there's one thing more that you think we could do and should do better, what would it be? 
Well, it would be too, because boy footballers earn more than girls, so I think they should be the same, right. so that they earn the same amount, okay. instead of, like, you earning a million pound a week and then a girl footballer earning 500,000 or that. So I think I, I can give you that. I can give you that. Equal pay. <laughs> What else? Who else? One thing. Amanda. Um, the thing I think you should change is... I think you should change about our votes, that we should be able to vote for uh, presidents or something to do around in this country or other uh, countries, because we have our own opinions and... I think that that would be better for us to have something to say. Okay. Yeah, Alex. I think that's a, a really, really good point. And very recently, um, this parliament has acted to make sure that more young people can vote than ever before. And the reason for that is that you are affected by everything that happens in this country. So you deserve a stake in how we make those decisions. And if you consider that actually, you know, we have really different ages for when you're old enough to make decisions right now, we need to do a bit of work, I think, to, to make sure that those are better aligned. But I think the, the voice of the children are the most important voices we should be listening to as politicians, because as I said before, you guys are the future, and we're making decisions now which will impact on the way you're living your lives long after we're gone. Is there any one thing that each of you would want us to change that would make a difference, Hannah? Yeah, well, I think probably speech, because speech, like, is in everything you do to it, like, really. And you, like, can have your opinion in anything you want. So it could be from in your class and you say to your teacher, give your, a teacher, your teacher an idea. Some schools, you wouldn't be allowed to talk or give your teacher ideas, but in other schools, you would. And I think that we should have the right to do that. That's a very good point. What about you, Amanda? If there's something that we should do here that would help you, what would it be? Apart um, from lower the, lowering the voting age. <laughs> um, I think... If... I don't know, like, I think gender stereotyping, um, it goes on a lot and it, it kind of means a lot to other people because if other people tell them, like, oh, you're weak, and it kind of upsets them, so it would be, it would be like, the country would be a more nicer place if no gender stereotyping would be, like, involved in it. It's a, it's a great point. What about you, Ryan? I don't know. You, you don't just have the right to be able to say what you want to say because you yeah. talked about freedom of speech. Yeah, yeah. And Kai? Well, um, I would like, like housing because not everybody's got a home. So I'd like everybody to have shelter. It's an ec excellent point because that was on all of the cards in our yeah, events. Yeah. So it was on something that we do well. It was on something we need to work on, and it's something in some cases we don't do so well. So we, we heard that one loud and clear about where we need to go on housing and making sure that that works. And actually, the Scottish Human Rights Commission in Scotland are working with some tenants' associations to, to make sure that they use their rights to get an adequate housing uh, and, and, and decent shelter. So, so you, you're on the money there, Kai, with, with, with your idea, because there's some work being done on it already, but you're absolutely right. There's more work needing done too. Yeah, and then I also like, because I think you're like trying to do it, it's getting better, so like you're improving on it, because you're building more houses than now, because you're extending our village to more than 700 houses, but that's going to take a long time, so. But you see the differences locally? Yeah. Excellent. And Toby, if there's one thing more that this parliament could do to help you, what would it be? I think we might need some better hospitality because my great grand died. Hospitals. But there's not really anything you can do about that. Yeah. Yeah. But we're sad for we're sad with you. 
because grannies are dead important, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. But just having people that care for you, and look, look at that straight away, your pals in there caring for you, but having people that care for you when you're having a difficult time, maybe in school or at home, is something that's really important. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you. I'm with you on that. Is there anything else from our committee members that we want to, to say? Can I say thank you so much for coming along because this has been a brilliant experience for us. And, and when we go and we go into the chamber and we're in other committees making decisions, we will always be mindful of the, the information and the, the, the ideas that you've given us this morning. Because when we're making laws now, they're laws for a couple of years down the road. A couple of years down the road, you guys will all be at high school or you might be you know, starting your first job or getting your own house or you know, going off to, to university or college. And we need to make sure that that world's ready for you guys, but they're ready for you guys with, with that very, very good human rights-based attitude. And can I say, well done to your teachers? Because I think you know, they've done a superb job um, with you all and I think you should be very grateful for the, the, the work that they do. Certainly we are. Um, and thank you so much for, for coming to, to committee this morning because you've really helped us. Um, and I think we've got a few surprises for the rest of the day going on. But um, we'll, we'll, we'll come to that when it happens. So um, I'm going to close committee now uh, on that very, very, very important high note of the work that you think that we should do. And we've got Sean's taking lots of notes so that we can take forward some of that work. So thank you so much. And I'll close this.